question Colorado Springs drivers continue to ask, why is the bridge project on Chestnut Street taking so long? A year ago, a huge sinkhole formed between Elston Street and Vondel Park Drive, forcing drivers to use detours around the cone zone. Today, crews hit a major milestone, placing concrete arches for that new bridge. Cardio News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is there live tonight. Scott, this project is on schedule for completion in November, but even with that, drivers are still losing patience. Well, Bart, the detours around this bridge replacement project continue to be a headache for many drivers. The biggest frustration, of course, is the amount of time it's taking. But the city insists that the fix is not a simple one. Hal Hildebrand keeps a close eye on the Chestnut Street bridge construction. As the work progressed and I watched what was going on, it seemed to be a a huge undertaking, so uh, I can see why it's taking so long. Looks like it's uh, a major reconstruction. Hildebrand is the exception. Most others seem disappointed in the project's progress. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, a whole year and I have to go around and it's very inconvenient. A whole year. According to the city, part of the reason for the length of the project is to build it to last a century. And meet modern standards. Uh, we're doing advanced waterproofing techniques to extend the life of the bridge. Everything that we go into that goes into building a bridge is spending the money correctly. Workers also are adding a bike and pedestrian tunnel under the bridge that connects to a nearby trail. Chances are this bridge project will be a lot closer to being finished if not for the addition of that tunnel underneath the bridge. But authorities say there's a good reason for it. This intersection on the north side of the bridge is the worst in the city for accidents involving vehicles and trail users. So the tunnel is a nice safety option. But the consensus here seems to be that 15 months is way too long. However, the project does please some nearby homeowners who say it's a lot quieter with less traffic coming through here. We're live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.